Good evening. By next week, San Diego County could move into the state's least restrictive yellow tier, expanding capacity for bars, restaurants and venues. The number of new cases in the county remains low, with 42 reported just today. Fewer than 1% of the tests coming back positive. But as restrictions could be loosened, businesses are still having a hard time filling positions. Fox 5's Clara Benitez is live in Chula Vista, where a popular restaurant is desperately looking to hire. Clara. Kathleen, good evening. Yes, Tacos El Gordo is a popular restaurant, usually line wrapped around the building, but due to the pandemic, owners have had a hard time hiring. Now they do have four locations, but again, due to the staffing shortage, they only have three open. And since we're close to the yellow tier, they need the help. County officials announcing San Diego's COVID-19 positivity rate is the lowest it's been since the start of the pandemic. Those days have, have, have strung together in a way uh, that has our adjusted case rate uh, for this week descending uh, into the yellow tier at 1.7 percent. Changes from orange to yellow mean gatherings can increase, including restaurants like Tacos El Gordo. But as the customers increase, the employees have not. There's no people coming over to the office to apply. So right now we are like limited. Right Tacos now, El Gordo assistant administrator Delila Hernandez says they have more than 50 positions currently open with no one wanting to take them. We have to close on Tuesdays because the same reason um, we are lacking of employees. Right now, due to the staffing shortage, their downtown San Diego location is currently closed. We have putting some banners on the restaurant. People are applying, but not, but they're not returning back. Hernandez says they're offering taqueros, their main cooks, $20 an hour with benefits, but their competitive pay doesn't compare to unemployment benefits. We understand that they're receiving help right now, but like, hey, you can have a full-time job and you can have all those uh, things and to help us and help each other. So it's, it's overwhelming a little bit. As the county possibly enters a less restrictive tier, Hernandez asked for customers to continue being patient. Right now we're like limited. We're like pushing out. We can do it, but we need assistance. Right now, even though we do have a low positivity rate, we still need one more week to enter into the yellow tier. And again, all those tiers will be retired by June 15th. Live in Chula Vista, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News. All right, Clara, thank you for that.